Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Redshift quick tip, I wanna show you how you can quickly assign multiple random colors to your MoGraph clones using the color user data node. First of all, you'll need to have a MoGraph scene set up. Now create a new material and apply it to the cloner. At the moment, each clone is the default gray material, but with only two nodes, you can set up and assign multiple colors to each individual clone. Double click and search for the color user data node and drag and drop it into the node editor. As this will be controlling the color of each clone, connect it to the base color input. If you select this node, you can choose an attribute name, allowing for a variety of different possibilities. But the one we need for this setup is in the objects menu, geometry ID color. Now in the IPR or render view, each clone has a different random color assigned to it. So how do we change these colors? Double click again and add a new node. This time search for a ramp. And then if you drag and drop it over the branch between the color user data and material nodes, it will automatically connect between the two for you. Because the ramp gradient is set to black and white, it changes the color user data colors to grayscale. This means by changing the gradient knots in the ramp, you can colorize your clones. I'd recommend using a step interpolation for this workflow. And don't forget, you can always use the available color palette presets for inspiration. From here, you can tweak and adjust the individual ramp knots to change how the colors are assigned to each clone. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.